kind of explain why I had to go back in and glue the front with this like the whole middle section part of my hair when I got my glue or when I finally opened it because I've had it for a, a few weeks the glue had dried up on the inside to where when I was trying to squeeze the glue on my forehead it wasn't coming out and I ended up forcing it and then I had glue on my forehead and I had to rush and get that off and try to put as much back as I could because it was like it was about half a bottle on my forehead, eyebrows, my eyelid got stuck and everything it was an ugly situation. So by the time I went to start doing the wig, I just kind of rushed through it. I didn't care anymore. It was just done. It was just done. After I put the wig on, I still used my even bond spray. And that was just to help melt it down a little bit more. And it lasted a couple of days, but my lace started to lift because I didn't really have any glue in the right spots up here. So that was the only reason why I was even going back in and messing with it. And then of course, after a while, the baby hairs do what they wanna do, so. And that's fine, I'll do those. But as far as that lace lifting, I do not want it to lift. I want this wig to stay on for at least a week. Again, if I'm giving it a week, I don't even wanna do two whole weeks. I might, you know, I might push for two weeks, but it won't be a whole two weeks. But I love this glue. We good now, we own. I switched it to the middle part. I need to put some makeup right there because it's ashy looking. But other than that, I just wanted to show you guys how I, I guess, install my wig. That's <laughs> Thank you.
like comment subscribe share as always i appreciate the love the support and i'll see you guys next time bye